We're going to navigate the computer through the command line. It's a little bit different if you're using a Windows computer or a Mac or Linux computer, but it's going to be very similar either way. First, because I'm using Windows, I'm going to open up CMD. And we can see that we are in C colon slash users slash James. That's the current directory. We can see what's in the directory you're looking at by typing dir, enter. And there's a whole bunch of files and folders in here but you will see that the desktop is in this directory. I'm gonna change the directory to the desktop. So to do this, I'm gonna type CD desktop, hit enter. Now you will see it says C colon slash user slash change slash desktop. We are currently on the desktop. If I type DIR again, it will list all the things on the desktop. We see dot, 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 putty, and that's it. Dot means the current working directory, and dot dot means the directory above. More on this in a moment. And we also see putty.exe. That's putty.exe there on the desktop. Now, I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop, and I'm gonna call it some folder. If I go back to the CMD and I type dir, it's gonna list the contents of the desktop. We now see some folder is on the desktop. So if I go inside the folder and I'm gonna create a new file, I don't know, I'm gonna call it some file.txt. There we go. So now I'm going back to the command line and I'm gonna change the directory to the some folder which is on the desktop. So cd some folder. You will now see users, James, desktop, some folder, and I'm gonna list the contents of some folder. It says dot, dot, dot again, and we have some file, some file. So we can navigate the computer through the graphical interface or the command line. We can return back to the desktop by changing the directory to the directory above, which is dot, dot. There we go, we were back on the desktop. So that's basically all I'm going to show you about how to navigate the computer through CMD, but I haven't shown you how to do it through Mac or Linux. That's right now. So because I don't have Mac or Linux currently loaded up on this computer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the interpreter IPython. Fortunately, the commands that you use to navigate through the computer within the interpreter are the exact same commands you would use if you're navigating through a computer, if your computer's Mac or Linux. So we wait a minute for the IPython interpreter to open. It could take a minute. I've got an old computer, so it does take a minute. There we go. So if I say PWD, that will print the working directory. PWD, so again, this is if you're on Mac or Linux, and you will see we're on users James desktop. Now, if I want to change the directory to the sum folder we have already created that's currently on the desktop, I'm going to say CD sum folder, hit enter. CD is the same whether or not you're using Windows or a Mac or Linux computer, and again, now, if I want to see what the contents of some folder are, I'm not going to type dir, I'm going to type ls. ls, we see dot, dot, dot again, that's the current directory, and the directory directly above, and we see some file. If I want to go back up, I will cd, dot, dot, enter. Now we are back on the desktop, pwd, we're on the desktop. This is all I'm going to talk about today. There's a lot more out there, but really this is all you need to know on how to navigate the computer through the command line.